of Anderson starting to overflow with people as thousands arrive for the breeder's crown. So it is a prestigious harness horse race bringing corrals to Madison County. 24 Hour News 8's Brendan Donnelly checked it out for us. Uh, Let's talk about the impact here, big time. Yeah, dollar signs, big time dollar signs for Madison County, guys. It's going to be exciting. As you said, thousands of people coming. The guests are filling hotels and spending their dollars at Hoosier Park in Anderson, as well as local restaurants and gas stations. I found some business managers who say it's about time. Every seat is full at the Lemon Drop Diner in Anderson this afternoon, but Cherie Titley says she could take in a few more customers. Have a good day. We've had buses come in before, so and we've handled it, and it's not a big employee base right now, but we tend to get the job done. She says her team has handled huge waves of Colts fans for training camp for the last seven years, but with the team moving their camp to Westfield, the Lemon Drop is looking for an opening. Well, since we lost the Colts this year, it'd be nice to be able to see new people come in and enjoy us. The Breeders' Crown will bring thousands of people to Anderson from all over the world in what's known as the top tier of harness races. That's what they've been saying since they announced that it was coming. This is the Super Bowl of harness racing. Matt Russ visited businesses like the Lemon Drop to let them know to prepare for the crowds already scheduled to arrive. Most of the hotels, I think, if not all, are, are booked now for this weekend. They have been for weeks, months. The mayor says Anderson is especially suited to prepare for this particular crowd of fans. The people here in this community have been used to horse racing for a number of years, not just because of Hoosier Park, but we do have a, a, a lot of horse history here in the, in the community. And uh, so folks are really excited to know that the best of the best are coming here to, to be here in Anderson and Madison County. And this economic boost could be a trend for years to come. Their goal was to bring it here. Now their goal is to bring it back. <laughs> Now, just like the Super Bowl or the Olympics, a city can bid for the Breeders' Crown to come to their city. Matt Russ says Anderson will be eligible again in two to three years and could host the race regularly. Mm. And it's amazing. It's enough to fill the hotels there. Yeah, I thought so, too. They also mentioned that there is an FFA convention in Indianapolis this yeah, weekend. They right. said some people in Anderson will be, or will be staying in Anderson and going to that convention. But, yeah, they said most of the people are here for the Breeders' Crown. What a great get. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Thanks, Brenna. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Wish TV is bringing you coverage of the Breeders' Crown all this week. The races begin on Friday. They'll also run on Saturday. Uh, we'll have live reports throughout the week and bring you coverage Friday and Saturday night from Hoosier Park.